and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm doing something that you guys have been asking for a lot. It seems to be something that's kind of like a staple right now for this channel in the beginning of Madden 20, where pretty much every week I update you guys on a select few things, such as training, what to do with your coins, what to do with Madden. It's kind of like I give you guys my personal objective list that you guys should be hitting every week in terms of how you should be handling your team. So I, I separated, you know, there's a training video, which helps you guys stay updated on that list. There's the what to do Madden right now video, which tells you like how to properly go about like what you should be like prioritizing, such as house rules, weekend league, solo battles, mud squads, and so on and so forth. And then there's what to do with your coins, which is like a mix of should you be investing, should you be buying, should you be selling, should you be waiting, and so, you know, you guys get the gist. So, today I'll be doing what to be doing with your coins, which means I'll probably follow up later what to be doing in Madden. Although, not much has changed yet, so I don't think I really want to do that one today. I might save that for when there's a house rules. But for the most part, you guys understand the gist of how this works. You guys have really been loving it. So, I'm going to keep doing this about once a week because it is something I can do weekly because things do change in about week to week. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, we are 70 subscribers away from 7K. So, I greatly appreciate if everyone watching this can go drop a sub down below and make 7k a reality and then keep keep grinding from there and then also if you guys could so kindly drop a like on the video let's get this video to 250 likes guys i am super tired i stayed up all night playing weekend league as you guys can see i literally got 12 to 13 wins and i started at 2 a.m last night so drop a like for that comment down below if you guys think i missed anything in this video now let's get into this video so as you see there is a new thing in the training store it says right there which is kind of cool i just want to click on that it was it was staring at me the whole time real quick since this does involve currency training currency so i'm guessing it's just implying they got updated or something i don't know that was weird so as you see my coin stack's a little low but that's because i haven't bought packs and i have a lot of investments now me personally i think now is the time to have a coin stack like i like this past week was the time to have a coin stack and now would be the time to start using that coin stack so i've been telling you guys don't buy anything, don't buy a team, just wait, just wait, just wait, and this is the reason now. So as you guys can see, prices as a whole are down. This Ted Hendrick came out yesterday, he's 230k. Jerry Rice is around 260, Bruce Matthews is in the 240s, Anthony Munoz is already below 300k, Pat Mahomes is 300k, we got Willie Brown at 340, I believe Lawrence Taylor is right around 393, we have Steve Young in the low 400s. This is why I literally said don't buy a team just yet because there would be things to come out. And as you guys see, this Bo Jackson has changed the landscape of Madden because ever since it came out, people have been selling a lot of things or people have been pulling a lot of packs. That's my theory is that people have pulled a ton of packs for Bo Jackson, which flooded the market with new players. Now, since I'm a player that typically doesn't open packs too often, as a lot of you guys are, the way I run my team is very similar to the way you guys probably run your team. I like to grind my coins through weekend league, solo battles, and seasons. So, and objectives, obviously. So, right now, as I have my coin stack, I have, like, 30 different power-ups that I think I could sell for probably, like, 10k each when I do so. I'll probably, like, 300k in power-ups that I have invested. I think now's the time to invest in power-ups. Power-ups are very cheap. Very, very cheap. Especially some legend power-ups, specifically. Some of them are very cheap, but you know when they get an upgrade, they're going to be crazy expensive. Also, you guys have to realize that those Mutt 10 promo players will probably kill the auction block once a week. So on top, so Friday and Saturday are going to be the best days to buy players now. Because Friday, there's going to be a Mutt 10 player such as like a Randy Moss, a Michael Vick, a Deion Sanders, an Elway, whatever. You guys get the point. They're going to be something. And when that drops, it will kill the market. And to make it worse, Saturday, the Legend Fantasy Packs come out, and that's even more. So from now on, my new advice is Friday and Saturdays are the days to buy your players. Now, that does mean that they'll probably kill it significantly. I don't know. Depending on the drop, obviously. Like if it's a Randy Moss, oh yeah. Michael Vick, yeah. Deion Sanders, yeah. Barry Sanders, yeah. Will there be like a lineman that people could care less about? Probably. But as you saw, Bo Jackson killed the market. It crashed the market. So that is what the coin stack was for. Because see, prior to this week, when you guys were saying, I want you guys want to buy teams, and I said, hold your coins. You guys, let's say you had 500K, right, in bulk. What you could have gotten with 500K last week was maybe like 291 overalls. Maybe one, maybe 190, depending on if you got a Lawrence Taylor. Now, here we are. Not even. A week ago, you week or two ago, you couldn't even afford Lawrence Taylor 500k. Now you waited two weeks, the market's crashed. You could probably get a nice 86, a 90, 290s, an 89, get D-Hop. You can get D-Hop Elway with Reggie White, and then you probably still have some coins right there. Like There's just so many opportunities. D-Hop is literally like 120,000 right now. 120,000 coins right now for DeAndre Hopkins, which is pretty, pretty good. 
and then Bobby Wagner was like 150. There's just so much opportunity now. Just holding a coin stack until the market's cheap, buying the maximum, most efficient output of what you could buy with those coins, and then this midweek come like Wednesday when the market's kind of dead a little bit until the Mud 10 player comes out, you resell them, and now you turn a 500 efficient coin stack into 750, 800K, because you're gonna make profit on all the players that went up, and then repeating Friday and Saturday. So if you can keep that up, that is literally how you double your coins. And the next week you spend 700K on a whole team. That goes to a million coins. Then you buy a million coins worth of a team. That goes to 1.3 million. Before you know it, you're a month millionaire. That's why I like to run it. My only issue with me right now is I don't want to buy packs because I don't want to spend money on EA that much, you know. A little too much. A little too expensive. But at the same time, I don't want to sell my team because I compete in weekly league and seasons all week. And I'm making videos and gameplays for you guys. So I can't do how I make coins, but I can't do pay to win way to make coins so i'm kind of stuck at a crossroads so pretty much i'm just investing using my money to make money trying to snipe and then on the and then just playing playing weekend league i will be getting weekend league rewards this week which guys as far as what to do with your coins go check where you placed in weekend league and save those coins because and take the packs always take the packs because i did place top 18 i mean i placed like the top tier whatever it is and i got 18 wins but I will not take the packs. I mean, I will take the packs for the child, the content of it. And that's, I got to live with that because it's for you guys. So hopefully you guys show some love in that video. But as a whole, give you guys a checklist of what you should be doing right now. There is. Investing is huge. Power ups are the move this year. Like, not, I'm not trying to exaggerate this. Like, I have bought McCaffrey power ups for 3K. I sold said McCaffrey power up a day or two later when his limited time came out for 30K each. It's 100k. I have a bunch of Aaron Rodgers power ups. When an Aaron Rodgers card drops and I bought these cards for four or five k, he will be over 13, 15, 13 to 30k. If the card's really, really good, he'll be like 40k. If the card's really, really bad, he'll be at least 15k. Like that's the that's the beauty of power ups. If their new card comes out and they're not even good, they'll still go up. If they're decent, they'll go up quite a bit. If they're really good, they'll triple, quadruple. I don't even have to say the five one, but in price, you guys understand the point. Travis Kelsey for 2k. I feel like that's an awesome thing to be using with your coins Travis Kelsey will get an upgrade this year And I can't imagine that one of the best tight ends in the game or the best tight end in the league Won't be worth more than 2k. Just my personal opinion on that Now as far as how to get coins, I always tell you guys look at the objective list. Look at the objective list. Look at this Where is it? I, I gotta I gotta find hold up. I always struggle with this. It's a serious progression Okay, well, this is important too. Get your trophies from your multiplayer ones. Don't forget about that. Mutt level. Mutt level is so important. Please finish your mutt level and then take those coins to invest. Now, mutt dedication. Always look at the weekly mission. If you get five of these done, you get two free gridiron packs, which gives you essentially like 10 free players, which could be elites, could be limited times. Also, don't waste money on limited time cards. Unless you're loaded and rich, please save your coins. I promise you, wasting money on a limited time card, not worth it. Bo Jackson for 2 million coins. Don't get me wrong, he's amazing, but I'm versing people with Marcus Allen and Bo Jackson. I'm doing the same thing. Bo Jackson is fun, but not two million coins. That nothing's fun with two million coins. Two, two, that's not a dozen you know, There's no, there's no joking around with two million coins. He better, he better. I better be able to put the remote down. He better win for me. But again, besides the point, let me finish this checklist. By the way, investing. Don't buy training yet. Don't over. No, you could buy training. Don't over invest in training. Save your coins. You could buy players invest buy players you think will go up even base leech you think will go up by the way nat elites whatever the house rule reward is buy that thing so like if there's another free nat player from house rules go buy free bait go go buy base leads because they will go down a ton jalen rams went from 220 to 2 like 140 130 well if then there was the much superstars they went from 400k down to 300k whatever it's going to be buy some of those if it's legends buy some of those because i think that could be possible a free nat legend this week like 88 plus nat legend that, that's a possibility in my opinion but you guys get the point invest save you could spend money on your team on fridays and saturdays that's when i give you guys permission to spend money on your teams because it's going to be a lot cheaper on those days and then just make sure to resell you keep that going and that pace going you could probably make tons of coins by just doing nothing you literally just buy it and then sell it it's like you just play the game you don't have to play the game you can just sit here and on top of that you have a good you have a good team on the weekends because you can buy them on friday and saturdays you have a good team for weekend league and then you have no team during the week but that's fine and then with the season starting to kick in, we're going to have team of the weeks. Make sure to play your solos. By the way, do not forget to play your solo challenges. The Mud 10 solo is now gone. If you guys forgot, I'm sorry. Wait, no, it's still here till 1030. If this, you guys aren't going to see this by 1030, so I'm sorry. But 
this solo challenge if you don't you have to play it every week for 10 weeks you get one free 90 plus overall mutt 10 player which includes bo jackson you get to pick so i highly recommend you guys don't forget that but guys that is it for the video i hope this did help you guys invest save your coins buy on friday and saturdays and make sure to resell during the week and make sure to check the prices first don't always quote me on that because things could be weird but guys that is about it make sure to sell off hype always remember sell off hype that is my best tip i can give you sell off hype now, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to smack the sub button. Let's get us to 7K by the end of today, which I think we could easily hit. Also, turn on the notification bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. Let's get 250 likes in this video. Make sure to like the video if we're staying up all night and tired as hell from the weekend link. Thank you. And comment down below if I missed anything that you guys think is a great tip. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.